Hello Virgo, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Hot Tea for the Soul. So today we're sipping on the sweet hot tea. This is for self-love. This is a reading that is like going to go through how you got here and what your healing elements are and how we're applying ourselves to the 3D world and our relationships. More importantly, self-love. So it's a little bit of what have we got uh, in the energies for you guys this week what have we got what's the self-love keys for us in times of need like well, sometimes we look for partnership stuff but really it's important for us to actually spend that time digging a little bit deep and actually working on ourselves right and uh, in the end i'm going to throw half the deck but i'm going to take that top card Oh, the blue flame. Spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Ooh. An activation maybe. Maybe you've been looking into stuff that's really expanding your mind and opening it up. Maybe there's a third eye energy inside of this for you. Some sort of activation and upgrade maybe. Might be in the air. What else have we got? Alright, so... What else have we got in the energies for Virgo or for uh, Sweet Hot Tea? What have we got? It's a bit of self-love. So you might have been working on stuff that are really is extending your mind and really making it expand for you to see things in a different perspective because this awakening here is really going to be opening things up for you. Okay, and an adventure going south. South. Yeah, so this is sort of, you know, it's talking about maybe taking stuff on. Maybe there is an adventure in this expansion and don't shriek back from it. You've got to actually move forward to it. Some things are a little bit scary, right, in an adventure. All right, so maybe you've got a bit of a quest that you're going on at Virgo spiritual quest perhaps like inside of themselves but this is there's a little bit of adventure needed in your self-healing maybe you need to extend yourself out by a day extend yourself out somewhere all right so what else have we got oh gotta read one of these i usually put them in the middle of the mat so i don't forget them all right what have we got for virgo self-love we'll go with this lady on the top oh you got three ladies Look at you, Virgo. Surprise. Be bold and strong. For you are the creator of your own destiny. Look within and you'll find everything you need there. Burst forth from your cocoon and fly. The sky is the limit if you follow your heart and your own inner guidance. Listen to what others say, but do not blindly follow their advice. All right, this is tuning into you, Virgo. All right, tuning into you. What have we got just there? All right, so, uh, 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 all right, and let's put out one of these oracles of the hidden world. Let's see what else we've got in here. One more for Virgo. What have we got? What have we got over here? All right, Virgo. One card for Virgo for self love. Let's see what we've got from the hidden world oracle. True soul, collective wisdom, kinship, group, a library. All right, so this is connectivity. This is networking at best, I guess. And this is your kin's group. This is your soul group. So you're all gathering stuff. It's like a library. And you gather and you exchange ideas and you exchange, you know, trains of thoughts and your energy levels. But there's a tree of soul, a collective wisdom. So you're also your kin group. You're not alone inside of your journey, inside of this. All right. Not over here. I've got this rainbow oracle that I was given. I'm going to throw a couple of cards from that. Let's see what we've got. What are the, some keys for Virgo from the oracle? The rainbow oracle. Cleanse your being in or near the sea. All right. If you've got a chance to get to the sea, if you can do a bit of cleansing, there might be time inside of your awakening. All right. And you might feel like you're opening stuff. If you're into this sort of stuff, then you're open to stuff happening, aren't you? All right, so I'm going to jump to the Muse Tarot today with you guys, Virgo. So we want five cards for how we got here, right? Five cards. Let's see how we came into this situation. All right, so you've got Joy. And this can be siblings. This can be a siblings card. But there's a Joy inside of this. Uh, 
a mother card this is well they're all mother cards i guess but this one is your earthly mother this is very sensual this woman's in control has got like a, a lot in her light at the queen of stones the queen of pentacles and so it may be that you have found joy you find oh you you found this earth and you found this earthiness surrounding all of that all right virgo no we're virgo so that is virgo it's a very virgo card she's very um sensual sensual woman right you might be finding your sensuality and there's your groundedness inside of this and it's bringing you some sort of joy all right what else have we got for virgo what else have we got for virgo oh there might be a lack of emotions right this is boredom uh but this is not just talking about being bored this is about like not seeing you as the uh the first cup like there's three cups of joy all right but we step on to you know so maybe being all this pragmatic stuff and being responsible and stuff isn't necessarily making you feel the emotions about yourself you don't feel that first spark of joy that first, that bit of love for yourself right it's self-love stuff right but we can see the attraction inside of the bottom of the cup here you can see it sitting there all right but she's sitting inside a cup looking at the other cups not seeing the attraction or her other cups bit of a problem right correct all right so you might be being pragmatic you might be like really applying yourself to the world in some really earthy ways all right but you're finding hard to find the joy in yourself you still find the joy in other things but not yourself Virgo. all right two more two more for virgo what have we got two more for virgo oh taking responsibility taking responsibility bring in the magic horn bring in the magic jars home bring in the camels in all right this is taking responsibility but this is responsibilities and burdens are two different things this is the magic that you choose to carry these are the urns that you have earned all right so you're bringing home all of the things that you are all of the things that you fought for right and so there is probably a reason that there's a you you might feel emotionally a little bit flat because there is a real pragmatic earthy battle inside of this and there's a nice um spiritual journey that you're completing inside of here all right virgo one more oh and this is virgo energy look at that we've had a lot of ladies turn up on the table today and so this is probably the reason i bought the deck because she looks like pink and i really like this card uh but this is like um the universe expanding and it's never ending and this idea that you can keep grading and there's really this real fertility and so there's a real fertility and you've leveled up perhaps it's like you know perhaps you're looking for bigger things for yourself like you've taken the responsibility of this journey to big bigger things right so you're not emotional about it still might be finding the joy but you're not necessarily emotionally attached to yourself all right so or a partner so it might be a bit of a solo journey it's what all these cards are actually saying. She's quite a solo. We find joy inside of this. Is very, they're quite solo journey cards inside of here. And, and so, let's have a look here. And be bold and strong. You're the creator of your own destiny. All right, my love. So let's do four cards for your healing element. What have we got in our healing? Oh, we've got the Muse of Materials. So we've got the King and the Queen. By all crux, we've got both positions on the table. So the healing element has been has been another earthy soul. Or maybe, you know, really taking this to a new maturity. Or this is about life is meant to be lived. You've you've walked the path. You've taken your time, Virgo, to, to work things out to get to where you want to be. All right, so this is, you know, really stepping up maybe that one more step. Or finding a partner. There's joy inside of this. Maybe there's a partnership that is coming your way. All right, but there's also stepping up because this is the king and queen of the same suit technically right like and so in this with the muses uh, trump all and so this is of inspiration there is a lot of joy inside of this so it's a partnership sitting there perhaps or are you being balanced masculine feminine or oh, breakaway energy there's lightning energy all right so with the tower this is lightning energy it is fast it's exact it will come fierce and strong and you can't stop its power but what you can do is stand on your own foundations it sort of strips back all of uh the superficial stuff and the superficial layers from our lives it quite often strips back all those unnecessary when you have a lightning moment all right 
lightning inspiration perhaps as well let's spark something else so let's see what else we got so you might find that things are breaking away from you maybe standing up inside of this going i'm not going to tolerate there's a lot of things you won't tolerate when you sit in this king and queen position and that empress position there's a lot that you won't tolerate like and so that does break away bullshit around you like quite quickly uh, all right what else have we got let's go two more and there they are look at that all right so for your healing element this is about pulling in this is about checking your budget this is just bringing back into yourself there's a spot inside of here and protecting yourself inside of a lot of turmoil in here the fours are usually rest positions it's like one two three action inside of there like and then rest is what we've actually got go on with a four like but there's a dearth there's also so there's a lot of endings going on you might have found yourself walking away from a lot of stuff inside of here there's a lot of walking away going on inside here though, okay and endings and endings the stuff that might have been protecting yourself there's a rebirth inside of this you know inside of it all and maybe actually becoming this empress and really rolling with this empress it puts you in a position that you know you've rolled into a lot of other things have died off around you and it's like really protecting yourself you're stepping up and you're enjoying yourself you're protecting yourself there's a lot of chaos ending energy inside of this and that's actually your healing element believe it or not all this chaos ending in it energy inside it's really making you consider where your mind is at and what your mind is doing inside of all of this like and and where you're responsible for it all uh, but you're not in emotional draw this is like no drama llama regardless of all of this stuff going on all right so your healing element might feel like it's got chaos it might feel like it's got endings believe it or not okay so quite often we hit a point that we step up to our responsibility of our faith and who we are in the world right and those two cards up the top here have been saying that and and a lot of other things fall to the side to the side all right so there we go so let's go three cards for how you're applying yourself to the world let's see what we've got for virgo this one oh there's illusion there's illusion all right so you're walking through maybe an illusion trying to work out what's true what's not what's right who's trying to you know it's sort of walking through you know trying to pick up and tune in and not everything seems just right because there are a lot of voices there's a lot of communication inside of that there's seven of them it's a healing again seven's a healing four and seven sit in your in your stop zones but this seven is is really talking about um discerning the bullshit from what's real and the bullshit right so there might have been a lot of people there might be a lot of people talking but how are you applying yourself to the world you're trying to work out what's real and what's the illusion you're trying to discern for what's the truth from what's not oh and you've got star energy and you've got strength all right virgo this is wishing energy all right, so this is wish fulfillment energy. This is really about keeping your eye on the goal, which is what you might be trying to work that out, right? Because you've got star fulfillment energy sitting inside of this and you've got strength and courage to back it up. All right, strength of a lion heart, strength of courage, strength of purpose, strength of being to back up this star and wish fulfillment. So it might be that there's still bits and pieces of it that you plan and you're working out because you've taken a big step. Maybe you made this tower moment happen because we are talking about this king and queen. And this tower so making but maybe there's an illusion in there that you're still trying to work out but you've got general wish fulfillment energy this like taking responsibility and then pulling back to protect yourself has put you putting yourself in a really great position right and you and this tower like you're not just going to be like you're going to be a star you're not just going to be a queen there's a star fulfillment inside the middle of all of this all right working out what your wish fulfillment in the middle of all of that is right okay that's really strong all right virgo let's go to for your partnerships let's see what we've got going on there what have we got going on for virgo in our partnerships um what have we got going on the wheel of fortune in our partnerships oh it's time to take a bath all right let's rest your mind it's rest your mind rest take restful energy we've got that rest position again one two three four and four, and of the mind right and so it might be time to take a bath like so i take a bath but the wheel of fortune is happening things are on the spin lady luck has been engaged inside of your circumstance right 
So you don't need to rest, you don't need to worry about all of this. You don't worry to put your mind to all of this because it's all been put to play. All these chances that you've taken, all the things that you're letting go of, all the death that you've taken, the responsibility you've taken for all of this, everything is in play. You don't need to think about it so much. You don't need to worry your mind. It's like you've rolled the dice. And that's what everybody says, is that you've rolled the dice, Virgo. All right, and you can rest your mind on that because you've rolled the dice and put Lady Luck and, 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 and taken the Wheel of Fortune and taken the wheel on sometimes you're up sometimes you're out but it's in motion nonetheless what do we got for self-love oh. all right this is trust your intuition make distinct uh choices like you're gonna hear signs and symbols you you and it's really watching out for them it's really watching out for what that inspiration is and where you source it from so we get a, a bit of inspiration is like the ace is like kapow this is like your inspiration to do something it might be that you're given um some sort of dream or something or something that makes you go oh, to do this this is now from then on looking at the at the steps and really trusting your intuition when you're making decisions inside of this the while the wheel is turning good fortune is at play inside of this this is trusting trusting what you've put at play trusting the energies that you that you have have put in the fold and trusting that you can make decisive decisions you do have like a resource of wisdom around you and there's an adventure to be had so to me this has got a bit of travel and adventure going on inside of it Virgo it's really looking out inside and it's really gaining more knowledge so if you do end up by the sea remember to cleanse yourself but be bold and be strong, Virgo. This has got strong energies. It's got transform transformative energies inside of here. I hope that um, that you let me know. I hope that you let me know what's going on. Uh, it's great that you're still here. Thank you for still being here, Virgo. I hope that this resonates with you. Let me know in the comments. I will catch you on the flip side. Please stay safe and well.